We've asked 7,000 people this question. When you're in a conflict with your spouse or significant other, do you feel unloved at that moment or disrespected? 83% of the men say they feel disrespected. 72% of the women say they feel unloved. Now, it's very important that I say this. We all need love and respect equally. But the felt need during conflict is as different as pink is from blue, night is from day, male is from female. If you were to ask us to pinpoint one moment where your relationship with one another did a 180, it's absolutely when we did the love and respect. If we knew ahead of time that there was something available like this, it would have made those first 12, 13 years of our marriage so much smoother, I think. This 10 week long study will change the way you do marriage, or for that matter, any relationship between a man and a woman. Each week, there's a video that delivers a powerful message, and there are real life illustrations, and there are scriptures that are life changing. We offer a workbook for you, and the workbook provides additional information that will enable you to apply this simple message. We include discussion questions, stories to read and discuss. There's a couple called Missy and Stu, a devotional for each session, and then there's the pertinent information that will be available to you for quick review and reference. Love and Respect really gives you a lot of insight into this is what men think and this is what women think and this is how they thrive. And that perspective had never been explained to us before, especially in such a comical and easy to understand way. It took a biblical approach to a lot of problems that we have. And when you can apply the Bible to marital problems, it, it always helps. You get a chance to learn how you think as a, a male and how your spouse thinks as a female. And uh, to understand that those uh, differences in thinking are just that, it's not wrong or right, it's just different. It really helped us to decode who we're married to. And that's something that I want to share with everybody. They're going to give you the tools. They're going to give you what you need. Now, what you do with is up to you. You can walk out the door and you can throw it all away if you want to, or you can take it and you can make it become a part of who you are and begin to have the marriage that you deserve and the marriage that God wants you to have.